Hey, Julie, what are we looking at here? They look like knees. They are knees. Um, what we're looking at on this one is an uncemented tibial implant. Um, it, it inserts into the tibia, and you can see the different types of porous structure um, that we can print on here to promote that bony ingrowth. These implants are conventionally manufactured using foraging or casting. How are we um, producing them now? So with primary large showing, it's always been difficult to produce a commercially cost-effective device at the level of productivity that we need to compete with castings. This is now being produced on the Flex 350 Dual, where we see a significant, more than double at times, production capability based on the, the multi-laser as well as the thicker layer thickness. Jeff, what's this one over here? This is a tilde knee arthroplasty, the femoral component of a tilde knee arthroplasty. Uh, conventionally, these are made out of a, from a casting in cobalt chrome. Um, with the introduction of the Flex 350 Dual, um, as well as a validated cobalt chrome parameter set, we're able to print these at a com cost competitive margin to what a casting would be able to produce. You can also then have a porous backed cobalt chrome to pr produce that osseointegration that we like out of a lattice structure. Mm -hmm.